You're fucking awesome. Everybody. Welcome back to Ochiba Wolf Collection. I'm kind of comfy in my little space today. I'm so glad you clicked the thumbnail to watch my video. If you guys are brand new here, a special welcome to the channel. My name is Brooke. I'm a huge collector, mainly specializing in Sailor Moon, but I dabble in some other franchises as well. So if you're into like Pokemon, Disney, good vibes, good times, and a safe space for you to be your authentic self, this is the spot for you. Slam that subscribe button and join our growing pack on YouTube. YouTube. We'd love to have you. If you do happen to be new here, I do want to say that I talk a lot. I've had people who just stumble upon my channel and they're like, wow, this girl talks too much. <laughs> if that's like a problem for you, my channel may not be for you. Honestly, I just love being my authentic self with you guys. You guys allow me to have this space to where I can just have these fun discussions. Also share my hobbies and passions with you guys. And I get a lot of good responses too, not just, you know, the random person who's like, why does she talk so much? Shut her up. <laughs> Today's video is special because I did tease a little while back that I was going to do a giveaway and yes that is happening in this video I know you did not see that in the thumbnail title I kind of wanted it to be special just for the people who return and watch my videos like I want to make sure that it's a fair opportunity to the people who actually enjoy my content that you guys are the ones who get a better opportunity to win a prize before we get into the giveaway stuff this video is also gonna be two parts the first part, I wanna just share with you guys all the new stuff that I've been getting lately. It's not like a huge amount of stuff. Just sit back, relax, you know, um, wind down from the day and let me just kinda of go through some of my collectibles throughout this video. If you have anything that you wanna share, as long as it's kind and respectful, please leave a comment down below. I read each and every one of your comments. I think they're so fun to read. A lot of times you guys are on the same page as me too in your experiences and what you're into and it's uh, really interesting to read. I don't even know where to start. I have all my giveaway stuff on the floor and then also I, I realize I'm wearing a brand new Sailor Moon item that you guys are probably noticing you're like whoa what's that shirt Brooke what's that shirt or maybe some of you guys are like I know exactly what shirt that is that's the Primark Sailor Moon pajama set and if that was you guys pat yourself on the back that's a good observation that's exactly what it is it's really cute too. I'm actually going to pop in some post-production of just me kind of like modeling it. This is the size medium from Primark. This did happen to come to the United States Primark, but I couldn't find anybody that could do any pickups here for me in the United States. So I have to get a shout out to my friend, Rachel, who shipped this overseas from their uh, local Primark. Thank you so much, Rachel. I can't believe that this size fit because I remember when I was uh, talking to Rachel, they were telling me that the large and extra large in their area was out of stock. This is like my first experience wearing Primark Sailor Moon clothing. So I didn't know like if they ran small, if they ran just right, if they ran large, I can be anywhere from an extra small to an extra large. No joke, women's sizes are crazy. I hate it. It, okay and since this was coming so far like coming from another country and I had to pay you know the shipping from that country I was like okay if I'm going to be spending this much money I want to make sure I get a clothing item that is going to fit me so I remember talking to Rachel and saying hey can I order a medium and a large because if the sizes ended up being too small you know and the medium didn't fit me I could always sell it you know and then I also have the large to fit into they told me that the large was sold out so I was like crap I guess I'm just gonna chance it with the medium I will say Say, wow, the medium actually feels like a bigger medium to me. The shorts are a little loose. And of course we all know that the shirt is clearly oversized, but the shorts, I really couldn't believe how like loose they were. I was actually kind of happy with that because for pajamas and stuff, I don't like to sleep in anything that's like really tight. I like a little looser fit if I'm gonna be sleeping in it. So this to me is perfect. I'm so happy it worked out. I love it when that happens. I love when like things just fall into place and it's just like, oh, whew, sweat drop. <laughs> so thanks to Rachel for shipping this. I appreciate it. I love it so much. And I guess since we're on the topic of my friend who hooked me up with some of the stuff uh, from their Primark, they did send some other things too that I will show you guys. So I'm sure if you guys follow SailorMoonFanNetwork.com, the best Sailor Moon resource site in English that there is, we cover a lot of the Primark releases. They have been coming out with these really cute, very affordable keychains. They did send me the three that their store had. There's a Sailor Moon S1 with the cosmic heart. I adore this one. There's also a international logo one. 
And then I think this is just first season Sailor Moon with like a pink background. They're, they're kind of like rubberish material. They sent me all three of those. Thank you so much. I love these kind of things, especially if they're like cheap. And you know what the interesting thing about all of this merchandise, by the way, including the pajama set that I'm wearing is this is made by BioWorld International. And this is the same BioWorld that we see make merchandise here in the United States. Pretty interesting that they also, it, it seems like producing most of the merchandise that sold at Primark under their brand. There was also this very, very beautiful pink Eternal Sailor Moon um, reusable shopping bag, you know, just a little cotton shopping bag. Now this is actually for Sailor Moon Obsession. Sin, shout out to Sin, if you guys know Sin. Sin requested this Eternal Sailor Moon bag and the print on it is actually really nice. It's quite a big bag as well. Very nice. If any of you guys are lucky enough to have a Primark in your area, please drop me a comment below. Let me know how often you buy the Sailor Moon merchandise that you come across at Primark. I'm in Wichita, Kansas, as most of you guys know. And if not, well, now you know. <laughs> I do not have a Primark location anywhere close. I think most of them are like on the east side of the United States, but I do think they are opening up a few more in the United States. I, I think they just opened one up in Chicago in 2023. So I guess they are popping up, but I mean, that's still many, many hours away from me. So I don't have access to it. And Primark kind of sucks because they do not ship online. You know, like a lot lot of retailers that have physical stores. You could usually go to their online website, buy something online, and then they'll ship it to you to your doorstep. Primark doesn't do that. Oh yes, they have an online site where you can go and you can look at everything, but you can only look to see if it's available at a location. And even that's not even guaranteed to be correct. We did run into an issue. My friend Evan, who lives in the Boston area, went to their Primark because this PJ set was listed as in stock. He went to his store, couldn't find it, even pulled an employee and asked them and showed them the picture of this. And they're like, oh yeah, we don't have that. We were also confused because it said that it was in stock at that location. So you can't even really trust the site for that. It's kind of a useless site other than of course to know what they're producing and making for Sailor Moon. It could be kind of frustrating uh, for sure. But Rachel, thank you so much. I am in love with the stuff that you sent and it all arrived safely. I really appreciate it. You know, Sailor Moon fans helping other Sailor Moon fans. It's awesome. What else? What else? I kind of have a bunch of stuff to show you guys today. So I ran across this at Walmart and this is, you know, do you remember the VHS tapes back in the day? Of course you do. A lot of you guys are around the same age who watch my channel, but this is like in appreciation of those. It's a 3D figure of how the VHS tapes used to look. It's by a company called, is it called 3 Deep? No, it's actually by Culturefly. This uh, type of product is called 3 Deep VHS and it is built by Culturefly. Like I said, I ran across this at Walmart. I saw other movies like Jurassic Park, It, the Nightmare Before Christmas, and of course, The Lion King. If you guys don't know, The Lion King is like one of my favorite movies ever. So I had to grab this. I haven't opened it yet. So I thought that we could like open it together because I definitely want to display this. It does look like you can uh, rent a movie on us if you buy this Fandango at home. And I haven't looked into that yet. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scream in your ear. After you remove that, it just kind of opens like this. And I think that's how we can remove this figural VHS thing. Let me just look at it. I love Scar down there. Oh, this brings back so many memories of, you know, being a kid, pulling out a VHS tape, you know, from the cabinet and popping it in. Built by Culture Fly. Oh, this is cool. It even has like a little spot where you can hang it up on a wall. Isn't that cool? Let me know what you guys think of these. Did you buy any of these for yourself? And look on the side, it looks like any VHS spine, you know, and it's got that on both, both sides. Uh, nothing on the bottom, nothing on the top. This is the case that it comes in. And then this is the rent a movie on us. Visit voodoo.com redeem. And then it has a little scratch off thing uh, with every purchase of these three deep VHS by culture fly. You'll get to rent a movie. I'm going to keep that out and definitely rent a movie. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so glad I got to share this with you guys. I've actually had this in my um, studio for a while now. I've had this probably for almost a month, I want to say. And I was just holding out to when I was going to create this video and show you just like 
a whole compilation of what I've been buying, you know, over the last couple of months. It's really special. I love the Lion King so much. Any Lion King fans that watch my videos, please sound off in the comments. I gotta know if I'm not alone. I can't get this thing back on to save my life. And I want to keep it on there. I'm like a, one of those crazy collectors that have to keep most of the original packaging. I mean, I'm gonna say that not everything I keep original packaging, but if I do keep the original packaging, I have to have everything. Like it cannot be separated. One thing cannot be missing because then in my mind, it's not complete. I'm sure I have some sort of undiagnosed disorder. We're just going to move on. I can't get that back on. I can't do it. It is what it is. The next thing I got is the Sailor Pluto Glitter and Glamours figure. Now this was really cool because this was a giveaway I won from another Sailor Moon content creator. Shout out to Geo Treasures. I know it's been sitting in the background of my videos for I feel like months and it probably is months I was just waiting for the right time to unbox her and show her to the world now she is one of the last two that I needed I don't have Saturn yet uh, hopefully I can get her soon have Pluto thanks to winning Geo Treasures giveaway they sent me this which I have not opened yet so this was like a little extra thing that came with my giveaway item and it says hi Ochi thank you for participating participated in the giveaway geos shout out to geo treasures if you guys don't follow them you can check out their instagram page down there in the description definitely want to give them a shout out they're one of the kind collectors out there that i also follow oh my gosh this goes back to the deep dub days meatball braid wow that sticker is actually really good quality and kind of cool whoa and that's not it hold on hold on we have a black lady pin from sailor kraken pins anime pins and goods they sent me a black lady pin that is so sweet of you i am have like a huge pin collection now so that's definitely going to go on the pin board eventually my streaming fam knows that i'm bad about displaying my pens Shh. But I finally want to open her up. I want to get her displayed. I have seen the coolest displays from other Sailor Moon collectors, much better at displaying uh, things than I am. With this whole line of the Glitter and Glamours figures, in my opinion, are some of the best Sailor Moon figures ever to be made. I think they're super accurate in terms of how they look from the show. And also the affordability of these is just fantastic. Fantastic. A lot of people are able to get them. And also because they're sold at a lot of very common shops, really, like Box Lunch and Hot Topic carry these. And a lot of people have access to those stores. So that's, that's fantastic. But I do love these. And like I said, I'm very inspired by all the Sailor Moon collectors who have been displaying these in the most creative of ways. It really blows my mind. There's a lot of cardboard with, uh, with this particular one. Here she goes. The only downside about the Pluto and Saturn ones is they did not come with their magical items. I almost said weapons, but I feel like that doesn't do them like justice. A weapon to me is like a gun. These are magical items. And like all the others, she does come wrapped in plastic. Looks like there's absolutely no assembly required for her. You just pop her in on the super duper ugly white stand. <laughs> a lot of people have thoughts about these darn stands that they come with. Like I said, I've seen photos of her, of collectors who got her before me and she's absolutely beautiful. I love her so much. The designs from Eternal are fantastic. Oh, it does look like they did enclose her back ribbons with a additional piece of plastic to keep that paint from transferring. So I just removed that. Love how shiny her boots are. So her entire paint job is matte, except for her boots, her eyes, the tiara, her earrings, the star on her choker, her brooch, top of the gloves, you know, the black part of the top of the gloves. Her uh, keys are not matte. I guess her sleeves are not matte. They got like a little shimmer to them, but she's super freaking beautiful. So happy to finally open her. Thank you so much again, Geo Treasures. That really saved me some money from buying her myself. I'm freaking happy for that. I really am. Let's see if we can't get her to stand on the 
the stand. Looks like her uh, back heel goes into this little area. If you guys own Pluto, you'll see it. Yep, she just popped in. It has like a little spot for the heel of the boot. Hey, that actually makes it to where she's more secure. I think they got better with the stands as these releases came out. Love you, Pluto. I'm so happy I'm finally going through my stuff. Literally, the people who follow like my short form content that I've been posting, you probably have seen the this Pluto box in the background of my videos for a lot of videos. And I'm finally opening her. What else have I want to show you guys? Oh yeah, I found uh, one of the Evolutions Pokemon figures. I've been actually collecting all of the Evolutions of these. I did not have Vaporeon yet. I would like to open Vaporeon. Does anybody out here like watching my videos today? Do you guys collect Pokemon at all? Pokemon cards, Pokemon figures, Pokemon anything? Do you play the games? You know, please share what you're into in the comments. Like I said, I love to know what you guys are out there also buying. One of these days, I really want to just get my life together, number one, and number two, get my collection together so you guys can really see all the stuff I have. I think you guys would honestly be shocked. I'm just throwing the trash all over my room. We'll pick it up later. That's what I do. That's like my whole system. I'll destroy this studio for one video and then I'll just have to clean it up later. I do that every time. So with these uh, Pokemon figures, they're posable and, and really good quality, I feel like. And they'll kind of come out with like, look for these Pokemon figures, a little like brochure showing you what else is out. Wow, that luxury looks awesome. I don't collect them all, but the Evolutions are really special to me. I think they're some of the best Pokemon out there. They're so cute. Vaporeon is adorable. I'm kind of sad that the tail of Vaporeon is not posable, but the uh, little feetsies and the uh, toes, toe beans down there. Toe beans, oh my gosh. Just the feetsies, just the whole leg. <laughs> wow, Brooke, is uh, movable, just like that. The head is not movable. It's very cute. They do a very good job on these. I'll uh, pop in a post-production of the other ones I have so far. Moving on, moving on. Oh, yes. We just talked about the Lion King with the 3D VHS. Did you guys see Hot Topic has like beauty series for the Lion King? It's such a vibe. Look at this pink packaging. It's so feminine. I never thought that I would see the day that something like this would exist for the Lion King. I'm living for it. I'm here for it. And this is a cosmetic headband, like I said from Hot Topic of all places. I don't know about you guys, but I love these type of headbands for like when I'm washing my face morning and night, you know, to keep my hair out of my face so I can, you know, get all up in there. When I saw that they had a Lion King one, I was like, oh, hold the phone, need this immediately. And I immediately ordered it. They also have like a, um, Oh, what do you call it? It's like, oh my gosh, you, you wash your body with it. What are those called? It's almost like a mesh thing. I do not remember what they're called. Please someone tell me what those things are called. They're like a body washer thing, but they also made a Simba one of those too. I did not need that. Don't use those. This one right here was a must. Oh, it's his little ears are stuck. The little stupid little plastic tabby things that are just gonna be lost on my floor forever until we vacuum. Actually, they just landed on my legs. Maybe I can throw them in the trash like a good human being. Yep, 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 that's what we're doing. Look, right in the trash, right in the trash. Trash. Got that one. Oh, his ears are so cute. Oh my God. Look at this. I mean, I'm probably gonna look really silly if I put this in, on right now, but the things I do for you. I need a mirror because I probably look really silly Willie. Does it look cute? Does it look cute? Oh my god, I've got a little tough like Simba. Simba. Like no king was before. This is the whole thing. This is the whole thing. I mean, obviously I'm not wearing it how I would wear it. <gasps> this would probably be good for like a little earmuff thing too. Like if your ears are cold in the winter time. I love this. No regrets. It's so cool to be like living in a time that they're making this stuff for adults. Wow, his little tufts are flying everywhere. This is clearly made, you know, for the young adult to, I guess, older adult. That's adult head size. Oh my God, do you guys see just the fluff coming off of this? Oh, no. Oh, this is a mess. Oh my God, it's all over my legs. This is just shedding all over. Okay, if you guys do buy this, the his tufts of fur is not secured in there. <gasps> I might have to cut that out because that's gonna be not great. When you're washing your face, you know, in the sink and the fluff is all sticking to your face, you know, you're soaking wet face. What the heck? What brand made this? Buy a brand called Mad Beauty. 
keep away from flame, fabric may catch fire. Please retain all packaging for future reference. No, we're recycling this. Huh, I'm still gonna give it a good try. <laughs> What else do we have? I'm sure you guys saw, but Sailor Moon Nako Takuchi Collection Volume 7 uh, just came out. I did make a, a short form video on this if you guys wanna see. Uh, pick it up while you can. I got mine at Target because you can get them 20% off the retail cost of $12.99 USD. And I love saving money. So just a little reminder if you didn't pick this up, uh, you should be able to get it still. It is in print. And the next one I believe comes out in May and it has Chibi Moon on the cover. Put that back there. And I also made some short form content on this, but I finally caved. The only reason why I did was because I was was watching the prices on the new Viz Media remastered releases, the complete seasons, you know, unlike the first releases that began in 2014 of the Viz Media release, I didn't think that I was going to buy a second release of the 90s Sailor Moon anime just because I owned, like I said, those previous 2014 ones. But I was watching the Amazon prices and these all dropped under $30. Most of these were around $26. And I kept thinking to myself, you know, I don't want to be that person you know, 10 years later that regrets not getting the remastered editions. These are better quality than the 2014 ones. And I will be doing a full review and comparison between these and the 2014s when Sailor Stars comes out in May. So once I get the final season, cause they only have released up to supers, so far, I will do a complete review and show you guys the menus of every single season, as well as a quality difference like filmed on my TV. So if you guys are on the fence or, or anything, you can wait until that video because I'm gonna go through everything and try to show you guys all of the details. I did come to the conclusion after buying these that as a collector that lives in the United States, I think I want to collect all of the media releases that releases in my own country. So that includes Blu-rays and the manga. I know a lot of you guys and you're totally valid in this you do not have to be a hardcore collector like me that wants to buy it all eventually but like I, I totally get it like a lot of you are like I don't want to buy another version of the 90s anime when I already own a copy totally valid and I get it the selling point on these for me definitely was that they were remastered and the quality is better so you can like wait to that video when I review it to see if you want to also collect these as well or just monitor Amazon. That's where I got these. I got these off of Amazon, by the way, not sponsored. I paid for these with my own money. Amazon prices fluctuate so much for like big releases like this that are kind of like widespread because they have so many different suppliers. When I saw that these dropped, I'm like, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. I'll uh, have my Amazon guides in the description of this video for you guys to also monitor these releases. In my guides, I have all of these listed in one guide. Guide. instead of searching each season and finding the price that way you can bookmark my guides go to my guides with one click you can see the prices of all on one page utilize those guides they're really handy my guides include everything on Amazon that is authentically licensed Sailor Moon products so you know that you're not gonna buy a bootleg or buy something unlicensed it's all legit stuff on those guides bookmark my guides if you guys are a huge Sailor Moon collector because I do update them frequently almost daily got those We'll get to the cookies in a minute. Oh yeah, the hood stuff back here. You guys kind of already know the hood production came out with a, well, it's their final Sailor Moon original case collection. So I got these. I did make a short form video on these already and kind of went over all the details. So I'm not going to like go in depth with these, but I did want to mention that that is part of the stuff that I've been buying lately. And this is the last bit besides the cookies. We're going to get to the cookies. Do you guys remember, and I talked about this in my live stream uh, this week, the Sailor Moon movies, when they were redubbed by Viz Media in 2017, they released them in a theatrical release here in the States. It did not have like a nation wide uh, theatrical release. It was only in certain theaters in 2017 in the United States. Unfortunately, it never came to my area, so I wasn't able to go to the premiere. But if you were one of those lucky people, they passed out with every movie ticket this Sailor Moon, officially licensed, we got Toei Animation on the back, black envelope, and this one is for Sailor Moon R, and what was inside was a random card. It was really cool, and I actually own a few of these. I'll pop in a post-production to show you guys the other ones I have. When I was like just randomly searching on Mercari, I found a seller selling the Sailor Jupiter one, and you guys know Jupiter's my girl, and I was like, oh, these are so rare, I wanna go ahead and grab it. And they're really thick, really cool, 
cards. Not anything super special or anything that you know you have to have as a collector, but me personally, apart, and especially being in the United States and this being United States merchandise, I wanted to grab it. And with the postcard, they, ca they came with two advertisements. First for the, you guys remember the 2011s of the Kodansha manga? They had a uh, volume 12 on the cover here, and then on the back they showed the box set. This is the first box set that uh, you could have got. So it's kind of cool to see like these flyers that, you know, came out a while back. Like I said, this came out in 2017 when the movies aired. And they also had this one that um, was in there as well, telling you that you could bring home the movies. And then there are the 2014 Blu-ray releases of the Sailor Moon 90s animation, kind of like these that I was just talking to you guys about. These you can still buy, I believe. I, th I think they're phasing them out, but this is the one you guys want to get. When they released these beginning in 2014, each season had two volumes and they were so expensive. They were like $60, $70 each versus the $49.99 retail for one season with the better quality that these had. However, the 2014 ones, they came with like really cool collector's booklets. The Blu-rays themselves had a lot of beautiful artwork on it. These on the inside are pretty plain if you guys saw my short form video on those. You did get a little extra features with the 2014 ones, but they weren't as good quality. Like the transfer wasn't as good as these. So those are the ones to get if uh, you're a big 90s animation fan and you wanna have a physical copy of Sailor Moon on Blu-ray, those are the ones you definitely wanna get. But I wanted to show you guys uh, that. Maybe some of you guys are new fans and you weren't in the fandom in 2017 and you didn't know that the three 90s Sailor Moon movies had a theatrical release here in the United States again in 2017. And lucky fans who went got a random black, on black envelope like this and got to collect the cards. I wonder if there's like a website out there and let me know if there is that documented every single one of these. I would love to know like how many of them are out there because these are kind of a rare collectible now. And now the part that I have teased on a short form video, my new VHS in my collection. And I know these bring back so many feelings. And in my short form video, I promised to tell you guys the story about these and why I had to have them as an adult. But before I tell you guys, in case you have not seen the short form video about these, these are the VHS that came out when I was a kid. These were the uncut versions of of the Sailor Moon movies that came out by Pioneer before S and Supers ever aired in North America. Now, I don't remember the exact dates that these came out. I think I had only seen like parts of Sailor Moon R as a kid when I discovered these at Suncoast. These are so pivotal to me in my Sailor Moon collecting and Sailor Moon fan life. A lot of you guys are gonna remember the Sailor Moon movies kind of like how the Disney movies came, you know, in the clamshell case, right? That was the first English dub of the movies. And that's the one a lot of people will be remembering if you, you know, grew up with Sailor Moon in those times. Not a lot of people knew about the uncut versions <laughs> that were also released before the uh, English dub of the movies. These right here came out before the English dub of the movies. Sailor Moon R the movie, Sailor Moon S the movie, and Sailor Moon Supers the movie. I want to tell you guys, I have a horrible memory, especially when I was a kid. I don't remember a lot of things. I have a very clear memory in my head walking into the store called Suncoast back in the day, which was like an entertainment media store. Let me know if you guys remember Suncoast. And walking to the, you know, one of their walls of just VHS tapes. And this was like the anime section. And I remember they weren't shown like this, they were spined. So this is what I saw when I was walking, browsing the store. You you know, I grabbed one of them. I'm a Sailor Moon fan at the time. Like I said, I've only seen maybe up to R at the time. And I was holding this and I'm like, oh, who is this? This is so cool. Like the thrill, the excitement, the anticipation that I felt looking at the back of this because this was all new Sailor Moon content that I had never seen. I was obsessed. I just remember trying to talk my parents into buying these because at the time, I swear I remember these things were like $39.99 or $49.99 a piece back then that's a lot of money especially for you know a movie of course my parents are very hesitant to buy uh these for me so i i remember i think they only bought me like one at a time because they were so pricey i remember you know looking at these and especially s and supers i didn't know who the outer guardians were and at the time you know i called them scouts i was like what is this and since these are the uncut japanese version they actually had names that i never knew i'm gonna show you guys the back of this and, it, and i'm just gonna read it exactly how it is. 
the seismometer was in danger. Sailor Moon's power be enough? A meteor is on a collision course with the Earth, but naturally, Usagi is oblivious to the approaching danger. Usagi is looking at flowers and enjoying the day with her friends when a childhood friend of Mamoru shows up. Fiore wants to be Mamoru's exclusive friend. <laughs> does he? Does he? And to eliminate anyone that has false intentions. But unfortunately for everyone, he feels the entire Earth does that sentence make sense? He feels the entire Earth possesses false intentions? Can Sailor Moon save her loved ones and the Earth from the evil alien Cassinian? And I was just like, who are these names? My only experience at the time was the Deke dub, so I didn't know anything other than that. When I initially bought these movies, it even tells you at the bottom here, subtitled in English, 60 minutes, rated 13 and up. And I even thought, you know, the rated 13 and up, you know, I was probably younger than that. And I was thinking, ooh, are my parents gonna let me watch this, you know? <laughs> but when I popped these into my VHS player back in the day, it was over. It was over for me. I was like, what, what, what? I've been lied to, what the heck? This, there, all the names and things I know is a lie. This was my first experience to the Japanese version of Sailor Moon, the real and true form of Sailor Moon. I was a different fan from there on out. These three movies led me to want to learn all about the Japanese version of Sailor Moon. So that led me to finding fan subs. Do you guys remember VKLL? I bought so many fan subs from Canada from that company. It just changed everything for me. So these VHS are very pivotal in my Sailor Moon life. I really do owe them for opening my eyes and realizing that Deke lied to me. <laughs> so they're really special in my heart. So I started looking for them secondhand. Wow, I just noticed on the cover, whoever graphic designed this left some black holes and black spots behind Princess Serenity's neck over here. Okay, okay. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yes, these are not the original ones that I had as a kid. Those are long gone. I'm sad to say they, they're probably rotting in a land landfill somewhere. <sighs> I wanted to find these in good condition for my collection nowadays. And so I was looking on Mercari and I found the seller who had all three of them. And you know what the cool thing is? So I'll show you guys what this person did. They kept the original plastic over the VHS cover so you can see the original stickers, the uncut the theatrical movie, 13 and up, to the Moon R. I don't know what store this was, but it looked like this store charged $24.98 for this particular one. And the tapes are in excellent condition. Whoever had this took very good care of them and they gave me a deal. I think I got them all three for $40 plus shipping. They're all great condition. What I was gonna tell you is S is completely sealed. It is a brand new sealed VHS tape in the Pioneer plastic wrap. It is freaking it's so cool to me to have this brand new as it was when I first discovered it when I was like 10 years old. It just brought so many memories to me. And I know I've been blabbing about this, but it really means a lot to me. And I just wanted to make sure I shared that story with you guys. Me discovering these VHS tapes at Suncoast. It expanded my mind about anime. I learned that it was Japanese. It just intrigued me and made me interested in learning all about where Sailor Moon came from, what Sailor Moon really is, because from then on out, I did not trust the English dub to tell me the truth. <laughs> Until Viz, that is. I will say the Viz Media did an excellent job keeping everything accurate like the Japanese dub. I just want to share that with you guys. I know you would appreciate that story, and I know a lot of you guys could also relate or maybe even you remember these VHS tapes. It's so cool to own these in my collection as an adult and I'm gonna display them somewhere proudly. <laughs> And of course, I've been collecting the cookies. You guys know I've been on the hunt for these darn things. I'm only missing a few. Shout out to Michi Moon sent me these to my P.O. box of Pluto and Saturn's Black Moon chocolate cookies. So thank you so much, Sailor Michi Moon. And then I found another Sailor Moon collector. Oh my gosh, the username is something something Sailor Moon. I'll pop it in post-production. They had a store in their area on the east side of the United States and they had posted that they grabbed them. I sent them a message and asked them if they had any more at the store and I would pay them to get me the Sailor Mars ones too. So shout out to them 
for agreeing to that. Thank you so much. You're really helping me like collect them all. The hunt has been so fun. I think that's part of like experience for me. I don't know. It's just been really fun trying to hunt them down instead of just buying, you know, a listing from Japan. Mars is, it's called a Marie biscuit cookie. I don't know what it, what that would even taste like. It does have a glass of milk on the cover. So maybe it's like a milky cookie maybe? Let's find out. Trying these have been really fun. Ooh. They look like this. They come through, oh, this one has three cookies to a pack, but they're thinner than some of the other ones that we've had. Smelling them, they smell, they smell pretty good. They smell sweet. Remember how all this freaking Sailor Moon cookies have been smelling sweet and then I'm, I'm mad when I eat one? They're pretty big, but they're also thin. Mm. Like cardboard. It's a really dry cookie. Oh no, it's not terrible. None of them have been terrible. It's just not a cookie that I would go back for when I'm craving a cookie. This one is very dry. It's not very sweet. I feel like people would like this with coffee or maybe even a glass of milk. Maybe that's why the glass of milk is on here because you're gonna need milk after eating this dry cookie. It's cute though, because it says made in Japan on the cookie. I just noticed that. That's adorable. I'm not eating the other two of those. They're just not that great. That's just my opinion though. If you guys like them, please let me know. Definitely don't let that take away from your experience from trying them. You know, we all have different taste buds. Everything tastes different to all of us. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean you won't like it. But I am excited to try the black Black Moon cookies, which are the chocolate version of Sailor Moon Eternal's Moonlight cookie. And we have a Pluto and Saturn on this box. They look good. Let's see if they are good. I really did enjoy the pie cookie that was the Black Moon one. They come like this. This one comes two to a pack. Let's see. Oh, it smells really good. It smells very chocolatey. I'm just gonna pop this whole thing in. Not bad. I do like the texture of the Moonlight cookie. It's not as crunchy. It definitely like melts in your mouth a little bit. At least this one did this. These taste really fresh. They're not very sweet though still. Like that's really my only complaint about these cookies is they're not sweet to me. But this one's good enough for me to eat the second one. Mmm. This video is gonna be really long. These are better than the Moonlight ones. They needed a little bit of chocolate. Why do I do that? Like crap. <clears throat> I need some water after that. That was not great. Gross. I just checked the time. This video is gonna be so super long, so I wanna go ahead and get to the giveaway part of the video. You guys saw all my stuff that I bought. Thank you for watching that and hanging out with me for that part. I do have a sponsor for this video and who provided a lot of the giveaway items, so shout out to Bleepo. They wanted me to show you guys some of their new products that they have available now. They designed their own line of like backpacks, little carrying cases, so I wanted to make sure and give them a good shout out uh, before we get into the giveaway items so you guys can see the cool stuff that they're coming out with. Especially if you're into like really cute stuff, it's adorable. This is a full size backpack. It's got padded straps and it says of course Bleepo on the back. It's called Harajuku Vibes Classic Backpack. So cute, lots of spaces in here. I love the colors on this, this is so cute. Oh, it even has like a little pin spot. Like the features on this are amazing. You can really tell that they went into some care designing this backpack. We've got water bottle spot over here. When you open it up, it even has a laptop part in it and a place for you to write your name. That's adorable. So if you guys are into that, make sure you check out their new items. And we'll go ahead and look at their uh, hard top pencil case too, which looks really cute. Look at that. Look at that. It does feel really good quality too. Let's go ahead and open it up and check a, take a look at it. Look at all of that space in there. That's nice. It says Bleepo on the back. And Bleepo is also a really good place to buy Sailor Moon items. They do carry officially licensed stuff straight from Japan. So I always like to keep them on my radar because you just never know what they're going to get. And they don't like buy a lot of stock of everything so things could sell out. So just kind of keep Bleepo on your radar. I'll have a link down there to Bleepo in the description if you guys want to shop from them. But they did provide most of the giveaway items. 
I did also provide a few myself. This is because you guys got me to 20,000 subs. So thank you so much to each and every one of you who have subscribed to Ochiba Wolf Collection. We hit 20,000 just before 2024. That is just extraordinary to me. And because of that, I wanted to do a giveaway and I'm so sorry it's taken me so long to get to this. <laughs> I've had these products for a while. We are going to do two different prize packages. I originally was like, am I gonna ship a whole bunch of individual stuff or am I gonna just wanna ship a couple of bundles? You know, to save me a little bit of money, I'm just gonna do a couple of bundles. So I hope you guys understand. <laughs> I will have all of the giveaway details in the description. So please check that description out, read all of the giveaway rules. So you are eligible to participate and win one of the two prize packages for Ochiba Wolf's 20,000 giveaway. Prize package number one, you guys ready? Let's show the stuff. Prize pack number one is all Bleepo provided items. Sailor Moon and Hello Kitty chopsticks officially licensed. And then inside here is some cute stuff that I wanna show you. A little Sailor Moon plush that you can hang on your bag or do something with. It's adorable, I love it. A Sailor Moon, oh, I have this. This is really cool. So basically it's a notepad, but it's really cool on how it opens up and you can see that it has each one of the inners and Chibiusa, little notepads that you can, you know, write whatever kind of notes you want to write on there. It's great stationery, and I feel like anybody can use this. You don't even have to be a collector to use this. Outers notebook, officially licensed, of course. So this is prize pack number one. So we're gonna have two winners for my 20,000 giveaway. So one lucky random winner will win prize pack number one. And whenever I reply to your comment, I will let you know if you won prize pack number one or prize pack number two. Prize pack number two is a combination of things that Bleepo has provided and what I have provided. So prize pack number two, you will win a brand new box of Sailor Moon Cosmos Moonlight cookies. These are the ones that I tried in a previous video. You will get a box of these. You will also get the Luna P stress ball, but they're called smashies. Uh, this is really kind of like a unique Sailor Moon item, I think. You will also get a pair of unisex Sailor Moon crystal socks from Hot Topic. And then the Bleepo provided item is this adorable Luna plush. But this plush has uh, an extra feature. She's actually a water bottle holder. If you decapitate her like so, she is an insulated water bottle holder straight from Japan from the 25th anniversary. Wow, this is a kind of an older item. That's really cute. And you can put the water bottle up in there. It's really kind of a, a, a unique item in my opinion. So that's prize pack number two. Two lucky winners on this video are going to win one of these really cool Sailor Moon prize packs. To enter, please leave a comment on this video saying I am entering the giveaway and make sure you you are subscribed to this channel, I will be checking. You must be subscribed to Ochiba Wolf Collection and you must leave a comment to enter. Also have to follow the other rules that I'm gonna list in the description of this video, so make sure you check that. Enter by this date and this time. This date and this time is when I am closing the giveaway. Any comments after that time will not count. So make sure you get your entries in before this date and time to be eligible to win one of these two prize packs. I will draw a random winner sometime after that date and I will reply to the comment that you have left entering on this video. So make sure you're checking your emails and YouTube a little after the time, uh, after the giveaway closes because I only am gonna give you three days to respond with your email. And if you do not respond within three days, I will have to go draw another winner just because I wanna get this stuff shipped out as soon as possible. So you have three days to claim your prize pack if you are a winner and I'll get it shipped out. I will ship worldwide so it doesn't matter where you live in the world. I will ship to you as long as I can. My subscribers are all over the world so it's only fair that I ship worldwide. I'm going to close this video up because I know it's going to be really hard to edit just because it's so super long. I did not intend for it to be so long but wow I had a lot of stuff to show you guys today so I'm going to go but thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting my content. I really wholeheartedly appreciate it. Check me out on my other social medias if you have time. Watch another video on my channel if you want to. Lots more content in 2024. I love you guys so much. Have a great one. Bye!